Yes, Nizar, Ma and then Mark, I'm coming to Edward. My question is regarding the condition which was, be, was put forward by Jerba regarding the toppling or the as a, uh, toppling of President Assad as a condition to go to Geneva too. Uh, does, do you view this as an obstacle or are preconditions helpful in this case? Well, and then I have other questions on Syria itself inside. Uh, well, uh, um, let's take it one step at a time. We, we, we've said all along that this is uh, without preconditions. And of course, on the first day uh, in Montreux, there will be a meeting with foreign ministers. Uh, this is an international meeting, um, uh, a show of support, if you like, for the, the process. And then with an intervening day for the move uh, to Geneva, uh, then the talks will begin between the Syrian opposition delegation and the Syrian government delegation, um, mediated by uh, the indefatigable uh, Lahda Brahimi. And uh, I would say that uh, it's then for the Syrians themselves to determine uh, the outcome based on uh, the Geneva two, uh, uh, the Geneva one uh, uh, communique that was issued uh, last year. So that, that I think, is, is the, the framework. And the, the key point is that we want people to come with an open mind and uh, w without uh, preconditions. And consider adjusting that or changing that and inviting Iran if the major parties to the conflict felt uh, um, that they should? It's the initiating states, in other words, the United States and the Russian Federation uh, that have been discussing the participation uh, of, the, uh, of uh, uh, the Islamic Republic of Iran. And uh, should they find some uh, accommodation uh, formulation that would uh, allow for uh, Iran's participation, then of course a letter would be sent.